I called you up, you hit me with the nonchalant thing I don't even think you want me But I could love you more uh. Alright you guys, so I'm getting started on shampooed and deep conditioned hair This was recorded in June of 2024 and I just never got around to editing it. Honestly, I thought like, ah, oh, just scratch it. But I'm like, well, I haven't uploaded a flat ironing video. I think I haven't since my big chop. So I was like, let's go for it. So here we are. So um, I section my hair, I believe into six different sections. Um, and I'm just going to detangle each section separately with my white tooth comb. This is all very much self-explanatory as you will watch, but I figured a voiceover, you know, would also be helpful. So I'm just going to um, section my hair and I'm blow drying my hair on damp hair. I mean, my hair is about like, I would say like 60% dry. Um, I don't think you're supposed to blow dry your hair when it's like soaking wet. You wanna do it while it's like slightly damp. Um, so anyway, I'm just detangling my hair um, each section and I'm just going to get my blow dryer. I believe this is like the Kiss. I have no idea. I got some at the hair store like, ooh, I don't even know how many. It's been years. I'm due for a new hair dryer. I actually am in talks with the brand right now. Hopefully they send me the hair dryer. I think they're trying to send me something different, but I really want to get a, another hair dryer. So um, I'm just using the concentrated nozzle on the end. First, I use the comb attachment to kind of like stretch it out. And then I just go through all these different steps. Now, this was my, I think my second time using a round brush. And um, I remember I was like sitting at home, like, can you do a round brush on like natural hair, like type four hair? Cause I had never really seen it done. And once I Googled it and I hopped on YouTube, I was seeing like a lot of videos where people, where people used round brushes on natural hair. And I just thought that, not that it was impossible, but I thought it'd be like a little bit more complicated because our hair, our type four hair is more coily. So it's like probably more prone to breakage and prone to tangling when you think around brush, like it gets stuck. So I was kind of nervous, but um, first I use a Denman brush. I've had that for years. I got it for like, I think it's almost like, if, it's probably more than $20 now, but I use the Dimmon brush and then I'll use the round brush. And I like to use the round brush because it really like gets through every hair and it like uh, straightens out the ends. Cause I feel like my ends are the hardest for me to like blow dry. They get really, really bushy as you can see. But um, yeah, so um, it was hot this day. I don't know why I decided to flat iron my hair in the middle of the summer, but I did. Um, I only wore it straight for like three days and then I washed my hair again and I didn't have heat damage in case anyone was curious. Um, but I do start my blow dry on a medium heat high blow. And then when I use the brush, I do high blow, high heat. So um, I use the Silk Elements, uh, what do you call it? Um, olive oil heat protectant. And that's all I use as a heat protectant and then I just blow dry my hair. It's really hard at least for me to blow dry my own hair. That's what's going to give you like the best silk press or the best flat iron is your blow dry. If your blow dry is not top tier then you're not going to have a super silk like a really nice silk press. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue the same method throughout my hair. Oh, So this is how my hair looks after I'm done blow drying. I have to have a fan on on me like at all times while I'm blow drying because I feel like I'll start sweating and then I'm gonna sweat my hair out. So it's like, defeats the whole purpose of a blow dry. So I go ahead and I use the Silk Elements Olive Oil Heat Protectant again. And I just spray my entire head with that. And then I'm also going to use the Silk Elements Silk Infusion. I only use like a nickel size amount and then I'll just run that through my hair. And um, the silk elements obviously is for the heat protectant. The silk infusion is just to make your hair more sleek and shiny, um, like more lightweight. It's not uh, a very, it doesn't 
weigh your hair down. Um, it can if you use a lot, but I, a nickel size amount is like literally all you'll need. I don't know if it's called Babyliss or Babyliss. I don't know how to pronounce the brand. I want to say it's Babyliss. Um, I use like, I don't even know what size that is. It's like their mini flat iron. I use that, the mini flat iron in the back of my head because I can't see. And I use that just to get my roots or the nape area because that hair in the back is short. Um, and then I use my one inch Babyliss flat iron. I got this from Ulta. Um, I do want to get a new flat iron. I've had that one for a few years. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just feel like I need to get a different plate. I believe that one is titanium and I feel like ceramic has always worked for me, but I don't know. Uh, I forgot the name of the brand. I think it's GP, G, I don't know. Anyway, I do want to get a new flat iron eventually. I don't intend to flat iron my hair, um, uh, anytime soon right now as I'm doing this voiceover it's the middle of October and I really don't anticipate flat ironing my hair at least my full head at least maybe until like early next year when it cools down um, I don't have a problem flat ironing my hair I know when I big chop for the third time I was like I'm not flat ironing my hair for the first two years at this point I don't care <laughs> I just won't cut my hair again. I'm just gonna have to rock that heat damage. But I'm not going to purposely try to get heat damage. I just don't find myself needing to flat iron my hair as often because of the state I live in and just because my hair is just not that healthy. So it's like, what's the point? But I, I might get curious and I might flat iron it late um, next year. I don't know. I really don't have any. So I am just working this flat iron throughout my head. I don't really think you guys need me talking to you this entire time. I don't know why I kind of got on here and just start rambling, but here we are. my hair looks after I'm all done flat ironing my head um, I just kind of want to see how it look with a side bang and so at this point I just um, drop the heat I do flat iron I will it's on numbers but I think from what I remember I believe I flat iron on 400 degrees and then when I went around to do these bumps right here I think I dropped it to like 315 um, because it was already straight so I just needed a little heat so I can bump the ends and then I sprayed my hair with the um, heat protectant again and my Kenra Shine Spray. Uh, my hair was not weighed down. Um, the products that I use are very lightweight. It's just a matter of how much you use. But I just wanted to see how it looked with curls. Um, I went ahead and I did wrap my hair after this. And then I have went out for dinner. So I just know sometimes like I do contradict myself because I'm all like, oh, I'm not gonna fire my hair. I don't wanna get heat damage again. But I guess we just never learn sometimes. But luckily I don't have heat damage at this time um, and I don't have any anticipation of flat ironing my hair anytime soon. But if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, peace to fingers.
dumb and blind Won't sleep, be a bit of a last Heard you mad